Well, right now, another new study shows children are falling behind in school. This despite efforts to catch kids back up in the classroom post pandemic. This morning, eight on your side, Trevor Sahaki joining us live with a deeper look at some of the findings and these numbers. Hi, Trevor. Hi, Avery and Deanne. Despite school's best efforts to help students recover from all the learning loss due to the pandemic, the new numbers are not looking good. The national study found the learning gap between pre-pandemic students and post-pandemic students may be growing. The average student in the country right now is months behind in school. A new study from a national organization reviewed millions of test scores. It found students need an additional four months of school for reading and four and a half months for math. This was the cohort in their 10th grade year, the where school was shut down during COVID and they missed so many instructional opportunities with, with days on time on task in front of high qualified skilled teachers. Outgoing Hillsborough County Public Schools Superintendent Addison Davis and superintendents across the country blame COVID. They've experienced a lot over the last three years, so we understand that we want to give them grace, but we also want to push them intellectually where they continue to be able to demonstrate mastery on all of our core competencies within our classroom. Around graduation time this May, Hillsborough County Public Schools estimated more than a thousand seniors wouldn't get their diplomas because they didn't pass the right tests. That's up from 240 last year, a more than fourfold increase. Superintendent Davis said he expected even fewer students to graduate next year due to stricter test requirements and the learning loss from COVID. The realities are across the state next year, the graduation scores are going to decline, and that's all because next year will be a true baseline of where we are. There was a positive finding, however, from the class that just finished third grade. While a previous study found those students were suffering the most learning loss from COVID, this most recent study showed they made above average gains. And this all comes as an important deadline looms closer. Schools have $190 billion in federal pandemic relief aid to either spend or commit to by September 2024. So the big question now is how to spend that to best help students. Live in Tampa, Trevor Sahaki, 8 on your side.